going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D text in Cinema 4D. So this is Cinema 4D as you can see and first of all I'm just going to come over to the center and then we need to head over to MoGraph and select Mo Text. Now from here select the text and come down here and change it to what you want. So I'm going to have mine set to Savage and then also change your font here and I'm going to select this font right here and the next thing we need to do I'm actually going to center this. And now we need to increase depth. Now I recommend anywhere from 50 to 70, but it's all personal preference. So you'll see if I come over to the side and I put up the depth to uh, 55, you'll see that is what it does. So it already gives us a 3D look like so. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is select the text up here and press C on my keyboard. Now you'll see this has separated each letter by itself, which means we can edit each of them. So I'm gonna zoom in here using the mouse wheel. And I'm first of all gonna start with the S and I'm going to come up to the rotation and you can see we can just add some different effects to the text to make it more 3D. Okay, so this is what I've done. All I've done was simply rotate the text and tilt them back a bit. And what I'm going to do next is actually line everything up. So I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to make sure everything is on this line right here or just touching the line. So you can see, for example, the G, the A and this A up here is over the line. So I'm going to come back to the moving tool and simply going to position this like so and same with the other letters. So you can see it is all now done and it's all lined up on this line right here. What I'm going to do is select the Mo text and I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V so we have duplicated it. So with that duplicated track on Mo text 1, I'm going to spin around to the side and all we're going to do is left click and drag this back just a little bit like so. Now if I come back to the front, you can see it already gives us that 3D look. And we can also bump it up a little bit if you want to, completely optional how you want this. If I come back to the front, it now looks like this. Now, of course, we can change individual letters, uh, the placing. So for example, this E here, I want it to come down. So I'm going to bring the back one down just a little bit like so. Same with the G, I don't want too much of it showing. And with the A at the back here, I want it up a bit more. And that is how simple it is to edit. So you can choose how you want it. Um, I'll leave mine like that. So now we're going to come down here, double click, double click this, and we're going to right click and we're going to change this to object soft shadow. From here, pick a color. So I'm going to go with a red and I'm going to have a red like that. And then I'm also going to add some lumens. It's completely optional if you want this. Mine's going to be like that. I'm going to X out of it. And now what I'm going to do is drag this on the S, the V, and the G. Then I'm going to minimize this and come to Mo text number one. And then for the letters we didn't put in red, we're going to put them in red now. So it's the A, it's the other A, and it is the E. Then what you can do is double click down here, double click the first one, right click it again, choose objects off shadow, set the color to whatever color you want. Um, for this one, I'm just going to have a full white. Again, I will add some lumens, not too much though. So again, brightness is going to come down a little bit. Then I'm going to drag this onto all the front ones. So for example, this S front one here, I'm going to drag it onto the back A up here, and you're going to do this for all of them. So there we go. Everything is now added. And the final thing is rendering it out. So come up here to the toggle and I recommend 1920 by 1080 and also a resolution of 72. Then come over to save and then the format needs to be as a PNG. The depth, I recommend 8-bit channel, and then make sure include sound can be unchecked because we're not doing it, but make sure 8-bit dithering is checked along with alpha channel. And then press these three dots and just choose where you want to save it and call it whatever you want to. So I'm just going to call this test. I'm going to X out of this. Then the next thing you do, however you position the text or however you position this camera, that is how the rendered version will look. So find an angle you like or find what you want and I'm going to have it like, I'm going to keep it like that. And then what we're going to do, then what we're going to do is press the middle button. And as you can see, it'll begin to render. It's going to be quick because it is just text and it is already done. So this is what the final piece of text looks like. You can see it's super clean. Uh, one thing I would change, of course, uh, I'd put the back A down, I'd put the back of the V down, and of course, probably the back of the S down as well. But it's all experimenting and it's all what you think looks best. 
But that's how simple it is to create 3D text in Cinema 4D. This is my first tutorial on Cinema 4D in a while. So if there's any tutorials that you want to see on Cinema 4D, let me know in the comments. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.